안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami and welcome back to Nami's Snatch It Salon. <laughs> The last time I tried to fade my hair color, I did an experiment with a color removing chemical versus baking soda shampoo that I DIY'd. If you'd like to see that video and see the results, I'll have a link right up here for you to click through after you watch this video. All right, my man. I don't know how much vitamin C we need for oh, one time. Let me do it. Let me just do it. Oh my gosh, it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. Hold on. There they be. Okay, let's Vitamix it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Will it blend? Whoa! <gasps> Smoke is coming from the top. Three seconds. Three seconds? Yo. <laughs> it's like literally granular. Well, folks, you don't need a mortal and pistol anymore. I probably said that wrong. Morta, morta, mort, mort. The shampoo I'm gonna mix my vitamin C with is from Head & Shoulders. I know some of you say that Head & Shoulders is really bad, especially because it's zinc-based. This is a dandruff shampoo, so it has very heavy-duty cleansing properties. However, I already bought this shampoo for my experiments to fade my color, so I'm just gonna use it. It's not like I'm using this all the time. So I'm gonna put half of my vitamin C <gasps> and my shampoo. I'm gonna try to do a one-to-one -one ratio. Oops, that's a little more than one to one. It smells so good. <coughs> it's dusty. <coughs> Ooh, blue of the shampoo is turning a little bit green. <laughs> Michael's coughing while he's he's washing the blender and he's coughing because <laughs> of the powder. I put a little more. By the way, if you're interested in our merch, our nacho merch, there is a little preview of some of our items right below this video. You can scroll through and check out some merch if you would like to support our channel in this way. There's a lot of cute new stuff like mugs, socks, and leggings, and phone cases. Before I put this in my hair, I'm going to dampen my hair and make it nice and wet so that um, we can emulsify this. Okay, um, I guess I will just split my hair in the middle. Oh, so wet. Let's just try to do this somehow, okay? I'm gonna take a section. Ooh, it feels, it feels really grainy. It's dripping on the floor. Wow, my hair did thin out a lot since I've been bleaching my hair. I'm kind of twisting my hair at the same time to kind of get like the bottom and back part of it too. Oh, my fingers are starting to sting because I have a little bit of eczema on my right hand. Let's kind of rub it in before we tie it up. Everything's so wet and uncomfortable. I hope this actually works though. What if like nothing fades? Oh, I'm running out of shampoo. Look, this is so uncomfortable. So if I do manage to remove the color successfully and pretty decently, I do want to put a new color on. Here, my hair turned a bit purple by my roots. I don't know how long I'm gonna leave this in my hair for. Probably like 30 minutes to an hour. We'll have to see. I'll take a look how the color's been fading and stuff, if it even fades at all. We do have a bit of a problem because we don't have any hot water. So I was gonna take a shower, but there's no hot water. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wash my head like old school style. Oh! Oh! I feel like nothing will happen. Even though there's like a bit of pink and black coming out. Oh, the only way to get this color out is bleach, but how can I bleach my hair right now? I wanna do a bleach wash on my head. If I do my roots, it'll take the color out. So my hair is now dry. I feel like the color did fade. I can notice that my shadow root has faded a lot where I put the black in, and the purple is not as dark up here as it was before. 
The pink just throughout is not as vibrant. It looks more like rose gold now. But I do notice that near the back is a lot more pigmented than it is at the front. Probably because the way that I was like shampooing and stuff. It doesn't feel as dry as the baking soda did. And I think the color fade is very similar to what the baking soda shampoo did. Maybe a little less fade than the baking soda shampoo. You can see that the color has faded a lot more outside than compared to from the inside. So I'll just check back with you and show you how the fade looks. I'm so tired, oh my gosh. So I don't know if it faded a bit more since I did the second. Hi Zeke. <laughs> see a little head here. It does look a little bit peachier, a little more um rose gold, blondie. However, down here it, it still looks a little brighter. I'm sure if I keep doing this or if I do it with my baking soda, it'll fade a bit more. Michael suggests I should do a bleach wash, but I don't know if I want to do that while I'm pregnant. Okay, now noisy Zeke has come, so We'll just end the video here. <laughs> Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. If you liked it, definitely make sure to <laughs> like this video. And if you'd like to see more, definitely make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification <laughs> to be notified when new videos come out. <laughs> and that's it. So we'll see you next time. <laughs>